based on official test data and may vary in different driving conditions. This is Greatest Hits Radio on FM, DAB, Smart Speaker, and now playing on Rayo. Across bucks, beds, and hearts. This is Greatest Hits Radio. The top stories this hour. The FBI says it's working to map the suspected gunman's movements in the days before yesterday's attempted assassination on Donald Trump at his Florida golf resort. It's the second attempt during the presidential election race. Suspect Ryan Ruth, who's 58, reportedly once flew to Ukraine to help their fight against Russia. His online activity is being looked into, as special agent Jeffrey Veltry explains. The subject was in the vicinity of the golf course roughly 12 hours before the engagement with the United States Secret Service. The subject had an active online presence and we are going through what he posted and any searches he conducted online. The health secretary says a deal had to be done on junior doctors' pay because strikes delayed more than a million patient appointments and procedures. The medics in England have accepted an average pay rise of 22.3% over two years. Disgraced former BBC presenter Hugh Edwards has been spared jail after admitting accessing indecent images of children. The 63-year-old admitted three charges of making indecent photographs. The BBC says he's betrayed audiences who put their trust in him. Here's criminal defence lawyer Liam Cottrey. The abused children are, of course, the primary victims in these kinds of situations. There are, uh, for, for a better word, lesser victims. His family, the public, who have trusted him for decades to deliver the news to them. His, his, his wife, of course, has no doubt been through hell. Another innocent victim as a result of his offending. The government secured more than 150,000 extra MPOX vaccine doses. Plans are underway to vaccinate more people as the strain of the virus rapidly spreads in Africa. The Belfast company that built the Titanic is going into administration. Harland and Wolf says it's insolvent. The GMB union wants the government to support its four shipyards. And the Northern Lights may be visible over parts of the UK tonight. They're most likely to be seen in Scotland, Northern Ireland and northern areas of England. From Sky News, I'm Leisha McKenna. Across bucks, beds and hearts. Greatest Hits Radio.